it too? You kiss it. No, you can't kiss it. Actually, kiss it. Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Both. Go ahead. No, you can't. Kiss it. <laughs> and your new NAWA tag team champions. Yes, they got it done. Yes, the Alden Brothers. Robert, let's start with you. We single-handedly beat three other teams, all worm no talent, hustle and no flow, and our friends, AJ Frost and Luke Fury. Steve, let's hear it. I try to tell you, we were going to get it done the right way. And we did with, you know, my ace, but here or there, we're the tag team champions. And this is going to be the longest reign you've ever seen for your 17-time tag team champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just heard from the new NAWA Tag Team Champions that you see right here from the footage last week on the program. This is how All Worm No Soul lost those belts. Joey Ford got clocked by a chain or some type of foreign object to get pinned, which led to the Allen Brothers defeating Hustle and Flow and reclaiming the NAWA Tag Team titles for a second time by hook or by crook. They've got the belts again. The Allen Brothers reign has started once again. Will all worm no soul get a rematch? We'll find out here soon, but now we're going to hear from Thomas Extreme. I am here with Thomas Extreme, the connoisseur of cardio. Thomas, this time around you face someone from your past. You might know him very well. Tough competitor. He's been all over north, south, east, and west. Worldwide known. Craig Classic, what's your thoughts? Mm -hmm. You know, last time you took something from me. You cheated. I'm not mad about the cheating. I'm mad about the fact that I never got my chance to repay you for what you did to me, what you took from me. That was mine. But now, this time around, I got something for you. Oh, I've been working real hard for something special for you, Mr. Classic. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're down in the ring now for your opening contest this week. We got six-man tag team action. As you see, we got Big Nasty down there with the Wranglers. They're taking on Jamie Purge, Justin Kindred, and I believe Tony Bench here in the opening contest. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for NAWA Championship Wrestling. Oh, God. It's the Saturday Night Superstar, Mike. Well, Tony Ben just got to he got to always run his mouth about something. But you gonna introduce me or what, pal? Well, I was saying I'm your host, Michael Elliott. Before that idiot got on the microphone, who told him to get on the microphone? Nobody. Well, I'm your host once again for the third time, Michael Elliott. <laughs> and I'm joined by JPS here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. Glad to be here, Mike. Are you? Oh yeah. Look at here. I love being at the brewery with the food trucks. If you could make Justin Kindred not come, it will make it a perfect day. Well, he's here and he's teaming up with Purge and Benj in this six-man tag team match. Oh, look at that idiot over there. You know what he is, Mike? What? He's a turd. Well, a turd he may be, but he looks like he's gotten a haircut since the last time we saw him on Christmas Day. Yeah, he needed one. Yeah, he looked very Amish on that day. Well, here we go. We got Big Tucker, the Cowboy, starting off for his team. Looks like we got Justin Kendra starting off for his team as well. It's going to be an interesting six-man tag. Yeah, I wonder, wonder what happened here. How did this dynamic work out where Tony Benz was involved? It's because of this feud with Big Nasty. I don't know how this match came about. You know, I'm not the matchmaker here in NAW. I just call the action. And there's Justin Kendra getting checked out here by our official Sierra Nicole. Purge now, what's he got to say? It's been a while since we've seen Purge yeah. on the program. Where's Purge been? I don't know, but looks like all three men on the other side of the ring are going to, is going to be dwarfed by this team right here, the yeah. Wranglers and Big Nasty. That's well, my big brother, Mike. You know, he's a big, tough cowboy. And as as you know, the you know, this, this trio here, they've teamed up several times before in the past, so they definitely have the experience advantage in six-man tag team competition. Absolutely. Hey, Mike, you think you could talk to the office if we might get some trios belts? Yeah, I don't know if there's, I don't, I don't know if there's a budget for that. Oh, yeah. It's the NAWA, Mike. It's the big time, pal. That'd be at least a $700 expense. I don't know if the office has that kind of money. We'll have to, we'll have to email Mr. Freeman and see what the yeah. deal is. Ask him what's going on with that. Well, Vic Tucker, the cowboy, taking control here early. 
He just pushed Kendrick into the turnbuckle with ease. Now he got another collar and elbow tie up. And once again, just using his strength and size. He's strong, Mike. Oh, but a poke in the eye. Jeez. You know, there is no good defense for a poke or a rake in the eyes. Terrible. We say it here every week, it seems like. Look here. Look at Tucker picking this uh, Kendrick up. Shoots him off into the ropes. Oh, nobody budging there. Don't even look like it affected the Cowboy. Mm -mm. You know, he's built like a fire hydrant. And again, it looks like Kendrick's taking the worst of that. He says one more time he's going to go this direction. This direction will help him, it seems like. Oh, but it knocks him right off his feet. The third time's a charm. Yeah. Kendrick goes down. There's Purge out here checking on his friend. He needs to go in the direction of a tannin bed or a sunlight. Well, we're in the shade, so it's not going to help him here today. Mm -mm. And, uh, Kendrick regrouping on the floor once again. Is he regrouping? Is he stalling? What's He's he doing? stalling. He knows he ain't got a chance. Does he? He knows. I don't know. He's a little sneaky. He's yeah, sneaky. he don't like to jump in until somebody's down. So he's got to some get somebody's got to get one of these Wranglers a big nasty down before he wants to get involved. Well, in comes the Saturday Night Superstar. Tony Benz, you know, you've been around a long time. Oh yeah. But the Cowboy here takes his wrist. What's Benz going to do? He gets the reversal there. He's trying to ag on Big Nasty, and we all know the history between them two. And that's not helping the Cowboy here as they're going to work on that wrist and that arm. Look at that, just wrenching it. Trying to break it over that shoulder. Now Ben's now saying, hey, give it back to him. He's ready for some action now. No Ben's. What can the Cowboy do here? No Ben's, he's a oh. wily veteran. Not wily enough. Oh, tags in Big Nasty. Now, here we go. Big kick to the midsection. Now he rings that arm. And he tags in now. He tags in your brother. Who's yeah. Get him, that? Big what's Brother. His, what's his name? Outlaw David Sellers. He's, he's a cowboy. A, he's an outlaw, huh? Yeah, he is. Oh, tagging back in. They're just going. They're just ringing the, ringing the arm and tagging yeah. in and out here. Yeah, they are. Like right. a well-oiled machine. Right back to that arm. Now comes in Cowboy Tucker Rose again. They might be the best trios in all the Carolinas, Mike. I don't know. The Allen brothers are, are around still. Allen oh, God. Birds. He just three stooged him right in the right eye. Right in the eye. I'm not going to say it again. Mm. You say it. There's no good defense for a poke in the eye. Well, look here. The this Cowboy. is definitely a size mismatch. Well, Jimmy Purge may not have the size, but he has the heart. Yeah. He's, he's got a he's got a determination in him. He's got some grit. Like a hyena. He fights. Big Nasty's got him in the turnbuckle in the corner. He's saying, please stop. Oh God. He's punishing this little man. I don't know how safe it is having Big Nasty at this brewery. How Why? many do you reckon he's had before this match started? I don't know if he's into this craft beer. I don't know what he's into. We'll have to ask him. Yeah. Oh, stocking him down with anybody who runs into that guy's probably going to fall down. Yep, he's a big one. Tony Benz coming in with that boot to the head to break up that pinfall. Yeah, smart on Tony Benz's part. Now look here, picks him up with ease and just plants it on the canvas. Nasty now. Just taking control of this matchup here for his team. He's just having his way with Jamie Purge. Purge has got to do something here. He's getting uh, body slammed around the world, so to speak. I'm you, he's going to be drunk. Should we do a fourth one? Just yeah. Get all four sides? Might as well. Here we go. Number four. I don't think Purge has any choice in the matter. Oh, wait a minute. Well, he didn't slam him. He tagged in outlaw David Sellers. Oh, dropped him right across his, his knee. Maybe he should have just tossed him, tossed him down one more time. Maybe so. Now the outlaw's in. Purge is taking a beating here. Yeah, he is. Look at this. Trying to press slam him. Boom. My brother's strong, Mike. He is strong. Well, the outlaw with a press slam. You know he's a shooter. That's what they, that's what they say. That's what I hear. He got a lot of practice beating you up over the years. Oh, now. yeah. Another rake to the eyes. But now Kendrick coming in for his team. Big clothesline. Well, look at that. I do not like seeing that fella beating on my brother. Attaboy, brother. Fight back. Oh, God. You don't do that. Well, I was trying uh He's trying to teach him a lesson. Yeah, or he is. He's probably trying to give him a little color there on his back. Well, he's 
got he's got red on his back for sure instead of yellow and white. Oh, but a jawbreaker there. And now Kendrick in control. Put that side headlock on and tags in Tony Binge. Oh, who'd, he, who'd you ever beat? That's who'd what he'll ever like. beat. That's what he'll probably ask your brother right now. Yeah. Oh, tosses him to the outside of the ring. This is where oh, Outlaw is the not going to be. Mm -mm. Oh, here comes Tucker Rose to the rescue. <laughs> he punched him right in the back of the head. He's fighting off both men trying to save his partner. Yeah, get him back in the ring, Tuck. Trying to make it a fair fight out here. Oh, uh, Ben's caught him coming in, though. Cut him right off. And now just choking him right over that middle rope. The outlaw not, not faring too well here. Oh, no. big shot right to the throat. Big judo chop right to the throat there. I told you, Benji is a wily veteran. He knows all the tricks. Back team comes Justin. Look at this. He's just trying to ag on the other team to get into the ring here. Oh, oh. payback. Boy, that looked like that hurt. Right there, but look here, Outlaw trying to fight. Oh, and he tags in Big Nasty here. They go running. Who's the legal man? Oh, big elbow. I don't think it matters. I think Purge must have got the tag in. Took that big elbow, a big back body drop. Boom. Good Lord. And he was, if we'd been in the building, he'd have hit the roof. He's got that arm again. And he was asking the people if they want to see him break Jamie Purge's arm. I think he could do it if he wanted I to. I think he could. This guy's got to be. Well, he says he weighs 75 gallons of shine. How much does a I gallon don't weigh? Know. I got no idea. We need to get our research team on that. We have to get us a, what do you call it, a, a skeleton or something. Something. Maybe the guy tonight can find out. Yeah. You know, we never seen him get interviewed uh, before on here by GT. Yeah. That's probably on his bucket list. Probably oh, is. Big drop kick. Into oh, here corner. comes the outlaw again. Go get him, big brother. He walked right into that boot. DDT's oh, in. And a DDT. Not like that. He didn't have that Jake Roberts form, so I guess he's probably going to kick out. Oh, he kicked out at one. Yeah, that wasn't strong enough. And my brother, he's tough. She says that was a two count. Now she back. can't count. Well, she better know how to count. She's our official. Oh, God, oh, look, look at, at that. Idiot. Can't do that to a cowboy. He just grabbed him and twisted his nipples there. But he only gets a two count. He afterward. didn't hook the leg. He hadn't been to the seminar. He's been to a lot of seminars, though. I know he that. He missed the fact. most important one, though. Well, Kendra now looking like he knows what he's doing. He's got him by the beard, yeah. pulling his by the hair Ooh, on his chin. Boy, that looks chin. like that hurts. Gee. There he goes. He lets go there. Well, Kendra's got a little bit of a mean streak in him. Well, he is a bad man. Oh, Another DDT. DDTs. They don't, you know what they don't know, Mike? What? My brother's got a hard head. We're going to find out how hard a head he's got here. Kicks out at two. He's got to make a he's tag. He's got to make a tag. He's been taking some punishment. Yeah, he has. He got handle across the back. In comes Benj again. And now he's going to do a double team move. Holds, holds him up for that big right hand into that dome, that chrome dome of your brother. Now he's getting choked. Shade, shades AJ Frost. Yeah. Dirty, man. The Dirty bench. tag team. Going up to the middle rope here. What's he got in store for the outlaw? He's telling the people to shut the hell up. Here he comes. Off the road. Oh, but he's met by a boot. That boot covered in cowman horse manure. <laughs> yeah, it is. He shouldn't be wearing them in the ring. That's disgusting. Well, that's what he's got, Mike. That's all he's got. Ben's just got a mouthful of boots, and he's stuck stuttering around. Oh, there comes the tag to the Cowboy Tucker Rhodes. Oh, big Boom. shot. Down goes Purge. Down goes Kendrick. Down goes Ben. He's cleaning house, Mike. Get him, Tuck. He's Ooh. just taking care of business here. And now, oh, double knocker knocker there. Ooh. A meeting of the minds. Up goes Purge to the top rope. Oh, he caught him. He called him, JPS. Oh, it, here it comes. They're brawling on the outside. Oh, Cowboy Slam. That's going to be it, Mike. Big Spear. And that is the end. Guy, you, you knew it was coming. Look at there. Big Nasty's got Tony Bench. And look here, we got Freight Train on the freight outside. Freight Train. Watching. We got celebrities oh, in the front row. Choo-choo there. Choo-choo. 
And there's the win, the winners right there, Big Nasty and the Wranglers. And they're celebrating with Freight Train. Man, Heck yeah. what a way to start this show. Big win here in six-man tag team action for the Wranglers and Big Nasty. Oh, everybody wants to hang out with Freight Train. He's a celebrity. Oh, what a way to start the show. NAWA fans, I am with the weapon of Matt Destruction. Big D, guess what? NAWA management is throwing Mason at your way. Defend that title. Let's hear it, brother. Hey, Mason, good young kid. I love how you're starting out. You've got a lot of potential, but your potential ain't going to be beating Big Donnie. Big Donnie's going to take that win, but I will keep watching you and encouraging you along the way. Hey, brother, just because this time don't mean you going over, but by God, maybe next time you can try it again. But this is your NAWA Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard from the NAWA Heavyweight Champion, Big Donnie. He is going to be defending the NAWA Heavyweight title here in your main event this week against Mason Allen. Main event, Big Donnie, Mason Allen. Stay tuned for that huge NAWA Heavyweight Championship match here in your main event. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back now in the ring. Thank you for sticking with us through that very quick commercial break. We've got Thomas Extreme. He's taking on Craig Classic here, JPS. Yeah, Craig Classic. You know, uh, his new name Mike's the Queen City Hobo. Why you say that? Because he looks like the Queen City Hobo. Well, Thomas Extreme right there, he looks like an impressive professional wrestler, one of the best around. Yes, he is. I guess Craig Classic, he just... Now maybe he forgot his gear bag. Who knows? What is he wearing, a Chris Winkie jersey? Who knows? He don't even know. He's probably drunk, too. Back in the days of when the Panthers sucked. But, hey, they suck now, too. Yeah. Hey, we only won two games this year. Something like that. Well, there's a lot of history here between these two men right here in this contest. Thomas Extreme was the NAWA heavyweight champion, JPS. And this is the man that defeated him for the title back in the day when he was the king. King Craig Class, he came out wearing a, in a robe and a, and a crown. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, I told you a few weeks ago, Mike. The king has fallen. Don't let Craig Classic fool you. He used to be a stud. He used to be NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, wrestled in Japan, you know, used to go to the gym. I don't know if that's still happening, but you can't count him out. He's a wily veteran now. Like I said, the king has fallen. Look at him. He is he has fallen off the throne, and his kingdom has been defeated and overtaken. And he's out on the street now, according to you. He's a hobo. Don't let the fact that he looks like a hobo fool you. I just think he left his gear bag, you know, when the kingdom fell. Something like that. He might have lost it in a bed or something. I don't know. Thomas Extreme, though, I do know that he is looking to get revenge here on the king because he never got a rematch for that title. Mm. He never got a chance to regain the heavyweight championship. Look here, headlock takeover. Look at there. From Classic. Justin Kendrick can't do that move. He might not even know what it means. He don't even know what it is. Well, he might know now. Look at that, John from get him in a pin, pin and predicament, but able to roll out his Classic. Extreme back up to a vertical base, trying to work out of that. Now he does, elbow shots. Oof. Taking control of the wrist here. You see Extreme was working his neck, twisting it around. Look at this. Look at there, Craig Classic wrestling today. The King, maybe the King's back on the rise. Well, he's probably got a box car he's got to catch here pretty soon. Yeah, we saw him a few weeks ago in that Extreme Christmas tree match. He looked halfway decent there. Yeah. He's about to break uh, Thomas Extreme's fingers. You're, you're, you know you're all right. He should probably just go find him another, le another leather face mask and <laughs> cover it back up. Absolutely. That way he can get by without disgracing himself. He's got a face for radio, Mike. You know, Colby Carino and Kerry Morton have done a better job with that NWA Junior Heavyweight title belt than he ever did. I would say so. He is looking pretty good here. I tell you what, he ain't anymore. A king? A uh, junior heavyweight. <laughs> No, those days are long gone. Ooh, long, several happy meals ago. He's in control here against Thomas yeah. Extreme, you know. And that don't happen very often. 
We might be poking fun at the Classic here, but he's still got some gas left in Absolutely. the tank. Absolutely. He's having his way with Thomas Extreme right now, and there ain't many folks that do that. Oh, just grabbing him and throwing him down to the canvas there. Thomas having to do what he's got to to get back into this matchup. Look at that arm drag. I'm telling you, the and man can wrestle. The homeless Craig Classic going to work here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Him. Looking like a wrestler today. Two big arm drags and a arm drags and a drop kick makes Thomas Extreme retreat to the floor. You think Thomas Extreme might have uh, underestimated Craig Classic today? I don't think Thomas is underestimating him because he knows the dangers that Craig Classic presents. Like I said, they've got a history here between these two, a championship history, so to speak. And now getting back into the ring, Classic is showing out. He's showing his wrestling ability, but we all know. He relies heavily on that brawling ability that he's got these days. Oh, yeah. God. Oof. I don't know how much wrestling ability you got. Yeah. When you get kicked down there, it hurts. Everybody. No amount of wrestling ability is going to overcome that. And that's the cheap shot Thomas Extreme used there to get control once again. He has turned the tides. I thought the tides rolled. Something like that. I thought they rolled. Oh, God. A knee right to the eye socket there. Mm. Now Thomas Extreme, he is quick. He is lightning fast, JPS. Mm. Great class is probably laying there dreaming about an apple pie on a windowsill. One, two, well, he kicked out. He did. He came to it the right minute, Thomas, right moment. Thomas Extreme knows the dangers of Craig Classic. And we've seen he's still got something left. He's fighting here. But Thomas Extreme looking to Get that victory back today, trying to get that revenge, so to speak. He's doing what he's got to do. God, Lee, mm. that had to hurt. It looked like it hurt. At the sole of his boot right across his cheek, his cheek area, his mm. cheekbones, and now just stomping a mud hole in him. And choking him now. I don't think many people like Craig Classic. No, doesn't I know seem you like don't. It. The way you talk about him. You no, I love him. him. I love Craig Classic. Like I love him. And now here, an Irish whip. No, big reversal from Classic. Oh, back body drop. Get him go. And who don't like hobos? Well, I, yeah. I tried to help him feel my day. Yeah. I mean, he's free, Mike. He's living the dream. Well, he's living the dream right now. As he might get the victory here this week. Classic sure could use a win. I don't know the last time when he's ever won a match here on the show, but look at that beautiful bulldog there. I'm telling you. Only gets a two count as Thomas Extreme is able to kick out. Craig Classic's making a statement today. He's making you remember. Is he? Well, he was. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now Thomas Extreme getting picked up off the canvas. What does Classic got in store for him here? Oh, back body drop. Beautiful. but only gets the two count. This classic, Thomas Extreme is a cardio god. Classic is not. He is gonna be able to withstand this type of punishment. As the longer this matchup goes, you gotta favor Thomas Extreme. Yeah, absolutely. So classic's gonna to have to do something here. Oh, flips right out of it. Went for that back body drop again, and then he has a super kick. Ooh. Extreme now on the offensive here. He's got to get Classic up, shoots him into the buckle, chest first, coming off, neck breaker there. Oh. That might be it. Classic looks like he looks like he's dead. Two, oh, oh. And he kicks out at the very last second. That was nearly it. I almost thought that was three for sure. What a matchup here. I'm you know. telling you, I was not expecting this. I know you weren't expecting it. Now what's he got, a bandana? The leader of the Bandana Brigade, Thomas Extreme, will use it to choke him. Going to choke Craig Classic with it. Instead, oh, a shot to the, oh. the lower regions, a field goal kick for the second time. That's a DDT on top of it. That's got to be it. The man just got kicked in the lower extremities, and Ooh. now he's going up for that extreme drop. Boom, Ugh. connects. And that's usually the end of it, folks. Two, three. Oh. 
And Thomas Extreme gets that victory back. Um, Craig Classic made a valiant effort today, though. Well, Thomas Extreme picking up the win here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. What a win here for Thomas Extreme. What an effort by Craig Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that main event. Big Donnie defending the heavyweight title. Hey everybody, it's Redbeard. Come join me at my YouTube channel, Wrestling with Redbeard, where you can find classic match videos featuring talent like Cedric Alexander, Tessa Blanchard, Jackson Riker, and more from before they were household names. You can also find my blog, podcast, and other great content all right over there at the Wrestling with Redbeard YouTube channel. Introducing Super Jaws Indie Supercard. The first pro wrestling trading card game with real wrestlers using their real moves, but not real weapons, because they're cards. Play with over 50 wrestlers such as George South, C.W. Anderson, the Jim Nasty Boys, the Dawson Brothers, Colby Carino, and many, many more. Go to becometheace.com slash store to order the Ace Series 1 set, shipping in June 2020. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this main event time is Big Donnie going to be putting up the heavyweight championship on the line here. But I've got some news for you, JPS. What's that, Big Mike? Mason Allen will not be in this matchup as advertised. Why not? Well, he has sustained a shoulder injury, and we were just made aware of it. As you can see, the other two Allens are out here, and Robert Allen is in the squared circle, so it looks like he's gonna be defend. No, well, I'm not defending. Well, he will be defending. He'll be defending the honor of the Allen brothers here against our heavyweight champion. Oh God, look at him. Quit putting the camera on this guy. Get the camera off of him. I swear I just saw a homeless man taking pictures. <laughs> We've got a main event here this week. Robert Allen. They are the new two-time NAWA Tag Team Champions, as you saw last week in that amazing four-way tag team elimination match, uh, JPS. They were able You to know what would be terrible? What? If an Allen was the NAWA champion. That'd be the end of the company. Oh, my goodness. They'd run it into the ground. Jason just had to sell it and fold it up. Well, Big Donnie, you know, I think Big Donnie, I don't want to say that Big Donnie was prepared for Mason because... I don't think Big Donnie really prepares that much. I think he just goes in there for a fight. Yeah. So it don't really matter which Allen they brother it is. Who he gets. If it was Robert, Steve, Mason, or even Justin, Al, I mean Kindred. Yeah, whatever his name is. Or even that kid that was wearing that Allen brother shirt on Christmas. Yeah. If it was him, He's I think confused. Donnie would uh, Donnie would just go in there and fight care. him. He's been our heavyweight champion for a while now, two-time NAW heavyweight champion. Been through some battles here over the past year and a half. Lots of blood spilt, JPS. Yes, he's spilled oh, gallons God. in the last year. Is this a preview of what's about to come? <sighs> that, just seeing that made me a little nauseous, Mike. Did it? Yes. Well, it could be. It's bad enough they're the tag team champions. Well, Donnie's not looking to let go of the heavyweight championship belt just yet, but I don't know. Robert Allen, he's big, he's quick, he's strong. Yeah. That's a good combination going He's in dumb, against Donnie. But Steve's out there to coach him. That's right. Steve Allen is on the outside, so Big Donnie is going to have to have eyes in the back of his head. Because you know he's going to get involved. Oh, absolutely. It's not a matter of if, but when. Donnie's short and compact for sure. I don't know if the Allen's, I don't know if Robert Allen's going to be able to do anything with him. No. Look at the strength of Donnie. He's a man. He's a machine, Mike. Who? Donnie, look at him. Well, he's using his strength and he's using that weight advantage to toss uh, Robert Allen down to the canvas there. Yeah, and Robert's not smart enough to, you know, not get into a test of strength with him. Well, here we go. He's going to oh, try to slam him. I've told you he's the dumb one. He's the dumbest of the dumb one now. Well, he moved him a little bit there. He didn't... Uh, He's got a stretch, JPS. He's just got yeah. a stretch. Yeah, look, he could do that all day. There's no way he's slamming Big Donnie. Well, he's hurt his back there. And now look here, Donnie with yeah. ease. Ease. He didn't have any trouble slamming an Allen. And again, two times in a row. Donnie just, Donnie <laughs> just standing there waiting. 
No, number three. Robert's so dumb. He keeps going back for more. And Donnie just taking care of business with uh, Robert Allen here. Mm. This should have maybe been a handicap match. I'm telling you, he's looking for Steve's. They don't know what to do. And there you see again in the front row freight train. Yeah, there's Mason. Well, there's Mason with the hurt shoulder. He says, I can't go, but I would have beat him already if yeah, I was in there. I think Mason is just scared of Donnie. I think that's what happened here. He's saying, look, Donnie, my shoulder's hurt. I'm just going to watch from the front row. He's ringside as well, so even with a hurt shoulder, there's two Allens out here at ringside that Donnie's going to have to look out for. Yep. Now Robert Allen, he's coming in trying to negotiate something here, saying, give me a chance. Oh, running into that brick wall known as Donnie. The Great Wall of Burke County, Big Donnie. It's bouncing right off of him. What do you think here? I think Robert's an idiot. Why? He's doing everything he can. Yeah, he's got to come up with a new game plan, though, because what he come in with ain't working at all. He's got to come up with some kind of a game plan He's got to take the big man off his feet is what he's got to do, get him on the mat. He needs to clip a knee or something here. Something. Donnie, just slap him and just bounce it right off of these blows. You know, Robert Allen ain't no slouch. He's one half of the tag team champions. Well, here we go. He's, you know, he's cutting that tree down one blow at a time, trying to shoot him off, but Donnie just sits down on it. Oh, he's got to be 450 yeah, pounds. Donnie Maybe. don't want to go. He ain't going. Maybe more. Irish whip, big reversal in a clothesline there. We all know Big Donnie throws a hell of an arm drag. Absolutely. He's an oh, athlete. God. Here he goes. Oh, I thought he was going to squash that Robert Allen. And he didn't know Allen not using that quickness to get out of the way and going to work on that arm now. Big Donnie's posted up over there at the ropes though. Oh, Robert's dumb, he gotta get him off his feet. He's doing what he can here bro. Oh, that's, All right. that was, might be it. He was at home that time. Donnie just squashed him in the corner <laughs> and here we go. That's big seismic splash. Oh, it connects. One, two, three, and Big Donnie. Look at there. Defends the NAWA Heavyweight Championship with ease. We know that Robert was not ready for that. I think Steve Allen ran away. Where was he at this whole time? Yeah, he's gone. He's at the nacho bar. And Mason Allen disappeared as well. There's your champion, Big Donnie. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event, JPS. Tell him goodbye. Hey, goodbye, everybody. That's all the time we got this week as Big Donnie celebrates with the people here. Still your heavyweight champion. So long for now.